relation to locating Cam McLeod and Briar Schmigelski, the two suspects connected to investigations in northern British Columbia. On Monday evening, RCMP recovered a vehicle in the Gillam area after the vehicle fire. We can now confirm that this vehicle is the same vehicle that the suspects were traveling in. Based on this information, we have sent a number of resources to the Gillam area. There will be a heavier police presence in the community. We have also set up an, an informational check stop at the intersection of Provincial Road 280 and, and Provincial Road 290, the road leading into Gillam. With respect to public safety, we understand the concerns being raised. This is a complex, ongoing investigation involving multiple jurisdictions. We are engaged with police forces across Canada. We are investigating all tips and are continuing to ask for the public's assistance. We are also reminding everyone that these suspects should not be approached. And if you do see them, to call 911 or your local police immediately. Further details will be provided when available. I am now going to read the statement in French, and then I'll take some questions. La GRC du Manitoba poursuit son travail et a changé All right, well, the RCMP la translating into French. I'm just going to jump in here. The RCMP confirming today a vehicle found near Gillam, Manitoba is the same one used by those two teens who are currently on the run in the center of this massive Canada-wide manhunt. Cam McLeod and Briar Shumgelski wanted in connection with three deaths in northern B.C. The RCMP, of course, part of this major manhunt that began in British Columbia through Alberta, Saskatchewan, now into Manitoba as well. Let's continue to listen in. To Gillam. Par conséquent, la présence policière the presence, the police dans la communauté sera plus importante. Will be Nous avons greater. également and installé un barrage routier à uh, l'intersection des routes provinciales 280 et 290 population. En ce qui concerne la sécurité Concerning publique, the security, nous public security, we understand the worries that are raised. It is a complex investigation that involves many territories or many authorities. And all questions on the information is getting, and we renew our request for the public's help. We want to remind you not to come close to suspects. If you see them, please call the 911 number or call your police service without any time. Other details will be communicated once known. So I will try and take a few questions here. What sort of uh, additional manpower has been sent into the Gillum area? Yes, so there is a lot more resources that have been deployed to that area. They're coming from other detachments? Uh, they, they're coming, yeah, from all over. Like so uh, I don't know that for right now, but there will be a lot uh, more of a police presence there. Uh, right now, um, I, I can't answer that. But you had a question. So right now, as the investigation is progressing, I can't answer that question for you. Um, yeah, but we're still, you know, doing everything that we can and trying to get out as much information to the public that we can. And really, right now, um, uh, this is a plea to the public. It's crucial. Uh, for anyone that has knows anything that sees anything to call us immediately. Uh, right now, all I can tell you that um, the the investigation's complex, and if we have a confirmed sighting, we will let everyone know as soon as possible. I can't speak to that. Uh, right now, um, like our investigation is focused on on locating these individuals for for our safety, for the public safety. So we're just you know working on it and trying to get as much information to you that we can. All right, thank you. That'll be it.